Hey everybody, we have finally figured it out. Hi everyone, your creative educator here, and welcome to Sparks the Flames Education, where you get great science, math, and reading content, and really fun and creative ways of inspiring learning. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification so that you can see our new videos on Mondays. Like and share, and yes, subscribe now! So for the last couple of weeks, we've been answering the question, why are plants green? And we came up with a few ideas. First, we said there is something in the plant that is green. Then we said maybe it has to do with the sunlight because of course, you know, light gives colors. Then we said maybe it has something to do with the water because without the water, the plants aren't green. But then I said, maybe it's a combination of the yellow sunlight and the blue water. But of course, little one didn't think that made sense. So today, we're gonna find out for sure. Just say that again. Blue water. Yep. You and millions of other people have the same idea and I need to prove y'all wrong. Okay, okay. Let's say the plant does have something that is green. This thing that is green, it absorbs sunlight and then it gives off a green color. Great! So let's say it absorbs sunlight, it absorbs sunlight. Now remember, sunlight is energy. So it's absorbing this energy, absorbing this energy. But what happens if it absorbs too much energy? It's like you're cooking food and the food just sit on the fire and absorb energy, absorb energy. Eventually the food is going to burn. So let's say this green structure in the plant absorbs sunlight, absorbs sunlight, and it starts to feel the sunlight and absorb all that energy and all that energy. But if it absorbs too much sunlight, eventually the color might change from green. All that energy might change the structure of this thing that's in the plant. So that makes sense. When a plant gets too much, too much, too much sunlight, it generally usually changes from green to yellow and then to brown so now that's where the water comes in just like if you're cooking if you realize the what you're cooking is gonna burn you add a little water to the pot make sure it not burn so okay the plant does the same thing the water comes in absorbs the extra energy that the sun gives the plant and keeps all that energy flowing so that that green structure doesn't absorb too much energy and start to change color. The plant, and so the sunlight and the water are working together to make sure that this structure stays green and that the energy flows through the plants. Sometimes plants get enough sunlight, they get enough water, but still they end up yellow. What's causing that? Well, one idea is that this structure is also made up of things that may be found in the earth and if it doesn't have these building blocks then it won't be able to make the structure properly if the plants don't have this building blocks it won't be able to meet the structure properly and if it doesn't make the structure properly then of course the structure will not be able to give off the green light so sometimes the plants will get all the sunlight all the water but they need things from the soil to build up the structure so that it could give off this green light that was a mouthful but basically it is the sunlight the water yes. and stuff from so the that's the explanation and i'm sticking with it don't laugh about this i won't laugh about this <laughs> wait wait i gotta thank get you so much camera. see you wait, next wait, Monday. I'm not please remember to subscribe <laughs>